Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. What you're looking at right now isn't just a barren wasteland. It's a monument carved by time itself. These shattered slabs, these layered rocks, these silent ridges, they are the timeless guardians of a planet that once breathed, burned, and maybe even bloomed with life. Captured by NASA's Mars Curiosity rover, this region, known as the Nuclear Plateaus, was once shaped by flowing rivers and whispering winds. Now, it stands frozen in silence, a sacred surface of Mars still holding the echoes of its living past. NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have sent back new images, and among them are rocks that have stunned the entire scientific world. These aren't ordinary stones. Their shapes, their colors, and their layers seem to whisper, we were once beneath the water. Mars was never silent. Billions of years ago, rivers flowed, lakes shimmered, and perhaps even oceans covered its crimson plains. When the water vanished, the winds sculpted the land, painting it in shades of red and gold. Those very rocks became time capsules, each line, each crack, holding memories of a world that was once alive. Some of these rocks contain clay minerals, and such minerals form only in the presence of water. That means these stones once touched liquid life itself. Inside them, scientists now search for the faintest traces of ancient life. Recently, near Gale Crater, the Curiosity rover discovered stunning new formations, cross-bedded layers, vein-like lines, and mineral veins proving that groundwater once flowed through them. Some rocks even contain silica veins, a clue that heat and water once coexisted here. Such hydrothermal zones are perfect breeding grounds for microscopic life. Friends, some Martian rocks are so strangely shaped it's almost as if someone carved them. A few even resemble organic fossils, branch-like, coral-like, even tree-like. While scientists explain these as erosion, one can't help but wonder, is it really just erosion or something more? NASA scientists have also found chemical fingerprints in Martian soil, eerily similar to microbial fossils on Earth. Could it be that Mars once hosted microlife? Every rock seems to open another door to that mystery. Now, let's talk about color. The hues of Mars, red, gold, brown, even black, are just beautiful. They're chemical signatures. Red from iron oxide, black from basalt, the remnants of ancient lava. In some areas, blue or green tones reveal traces of copper, magnesium, and hydrated salts. Each hue tells a story, evidence of water-rock interaction, and maybe the first seeds of life. When the water vanished, the wind remained, reshaping the planet. And that same wind still sculpts Mars today. NASA's cameras show cliffs eroding under fine dust storms. In its silence, Mars is still moving, still alive. The drifting sands and dancing dust are the slow, steady breaths of time carving the new face of the red planet. Scientists believe the greatest truth of Mars is locked within its stones. Each rock holds trapped gases, crystals, and salts, whispers of a lost atmosphere and oceans. Rovers are now drilling, collecting samples that future missions will bring home. Maybe, in those samples, we'll find the final proof that Mars once lived. Sometimes it feels like these rocks aren't just stones, they're memories, preserved moments from when the universe dreamed of something new, life. That dream now lies buried in dust, yet its echo hums through Martian winds. Maybe one day, when humans finally set foot there, these very rocks will greet us and whisper, you've come home. Every rover, from spirit to perseverance, has seen strange formations, ridges shaped like waves, stones stacked like walls, and surfaces cracked like dried riverbeds. They looked random, but science revealed patterns, fingerprints of ancient water and wind, some show lake bed sediments like those found on Earth. Others hold minerals like hematite and silica, formed only in watery or hydrothermal conditions. Long ago, Mars wasn't dry. It was sculpted by rivers, rains, and something far greater. In 2016, Curiosity captured an image of a strange thin structure, like a fossilized spine. NASA called it a mineral vein, but it raised a bigger question. If Mars had water, heat, and time, could it have had life?
Across Gale and Jezero craters, scientists found formations resembling stromatolites, ancient microbial structures found on Earth. No one calls it proof yet, but the patterns, curved, domed, repeating, are hauntingly familiar. Maybe billions of years ago, Mars had living microbial mats in shallow lakes, life so small only its shadows remain. Then comes the mystery that fuels imagination, rocks shaped like pillars, cubes, even statues. NASA says they're natural erosion, but even scientists admit Mars erodes differently. Its thin atmosphere carves stones with surgical precision. That's why some formations look engineered, even when they're not. Still, some shapes are too symmetrical to ignore. Were they sculpted only by wind or by something we've yet to understand? What we see is only half the story. Beneath the Martian surface, radar scans reveal frozen water, layered sediments, and ancient channels. ESA's Mars Express and NASA's Sherrod radar have detected ice sheets stretching for hundreds of kilometers, silent oceans trapped in time. And where ice is preserved, life may be too. Every cracked ridge, every fossil-like shadow adds up to a single truth. Mars is not dead, it's waiting waiting for us to decode its story, written not in words but in stone. So as you watch these images, remember, these aren't just rocks from another world. They're the oldest witnesses in our solar system. And maybe one day, they'll answer the question that defines us all. Did life ever begin beyond Earth? Because on Mars, even the stones seem to. This is Mars Saga, where every image brings you closer to the truth hidden beneath the red dust. If you think you've seen everything, wait till you see what lies under the next rock. Thanks for watching this video.